see you guys again today. Today is letter E day, and we're going to be drawing an elephant. But before we get to that, let's check out your drawings that you sent me yesterday. Let's go on a gallery walk to see what we did yesterday. Lots of cool dolphin drawings were sent to me. I love the way that you each made your own unique and interesting. Jordan, I see those splashes coming off of your dolphin like he's really leaping out of the water. Claire, I like the way that you added that beach. Looks like a nice sunny beach I would love to visit. Down here, I see um, uh, Wyatt and his brother Levi and Sawyer. They made some really cool dolphins with lots of different interesting extra details there. Um, I see here, this is actually a pink dolphin. Um, and Sawyer uh, told us a great fun fact that there are pink dolphins. Um, they swim in the Amazon River. So very cool to see that pink dolphin. Down here, I see this bottlenose dolphin by Wyatt, and you've also included another D animal, the duck. Very nice. Alexa, love this bright rainbow. Just looking at it makes me happy. Kalina, you also used some rainbow colors there. I love that you made the block letter D and then you made the rest of the word dolphin. Here we have your dolphin jumping out of the water. Nice job. Same over here. I love um, a lot of you added nice details to the water so the water didn't look flat. It looks like the water is moving and splashing with all these details inside of the water. Nice job. Oh, this one says Flipper named their dolphin. Nice job. Over here, I see another D animal. There's a dog on the beach shore there. I think that one was Hunter's. Arielle, she's given us a, uh, a, a fun fact or a, a pun, I guess I should say. If dolphins lived on land, what country would they live in? And she said, Finland. That's a fun little pun that you can share with your family. Joelle, I love that you've made your dolphin a rainbow dolphin. It looks like he's saying, I'm Donnie. Donnie, the rainbow dolphin, all these nice birds flying around in the sky. I love those extra details. See, Melina drew with us today. Nice job. I like your dolphin jumping out. Nice bright sun in the sky here. Got another sun over here. Even though we all drew the same thing, we followed along with the same drawing, I love that I can see that you're adding your own details. You're making them unique. So here I see yellow sun, but here I see a much orange, brighter sun. Maybe that's an evening sun. Here I see DJ the dolphin. I think that was Caleb. Nice job. Coraline made her dolphin jumping out. Nice bright sun there. Um, Sadie and Mia steel they drew together. I see clouds in the sky. And Mia, I think, is this maybe a mermaid swimming with your dolphin? Very nice detail. I like that. Um, it says Bouncy the dolphin. She named her animal also. Erilyn has given us a fun fact. Dolphins breathe through their blowholes. And you can see she added that blowhole right there on top. Nice job. We have another pink. Dolphin, maybe this is another Amazon pink dolphin. Um, this one was done by Lucas, and I like you added a big wave here for the dolphin to jump over top of. Very cool. The Brown Brothers drew today, Mason and Ethan. Ethan, I love that you made your dolphin D a rainbow. That's creative. Nice job. Both of them showing that splash of water coming off. Well done. Zoe and Luke are down here. Um, there's some of our pre-K friends. Um, Zoe, nice job. I love these seagulls that you made flying above your dolphin. And Luke, you did a great job making your dolphin jump out of the water. And I see some splashes. Keep drawing. You're doing an excellent job. Down here, we have some other friends. I see Cleo. She also made a pink dolphin. Pink dolphins are pretty popular. And uh, Ruby, nice job making your dolphin jumping out of the water. Great job. Thank you for sending those. I love to see what you guys are working on at home. Um, not only you, but also with your um, families when your siblings draw with you as well. Today we are going to be learning about uh, elephants a little bit, and then we're going to draw an elephant. Um, these are some facts I found from National Geographic Kids. Uh, here I see uh, all about elephants. An elephant is the biggest animal that lives on land. An elephant, um, an adult elephant, is much bigger than a truck, and you can definitely see that in the picture here and can weigh up to 14,000 pounds. 
A baby elephant is bigger than an adult cheetah. Hey, we just drew cheetahs the other day. Um, here you can see a baby elephant, and there's the adult cheetah. So much larger. Even though it's a baby, it still is quite large. Um, those elephant babies eat a lot and grow more and more each and every day. There are two kinds of elephants, African elephants and Asian elephants. Um, although they have the same body parts, they do have some differences. So here we see the Asian elephant, and here we see the African elephant. And I like these backgrounds. Maybe seeing these pictures of elephants can give you an idea of how you would like to make the background for your picture. Um, one thing that is different from the Asian and the African elephant is um, the African elephants are larger. They're the bigger of the two. Here you can see them side by side. So an Asian elephant, an Asian elephant has a rounder head and has a bump on the top. Not all Asian elephants have tusks, um, but all African elephants do have tusks. Um, and today when we're drawing an elephant, you can decide if you want to add some tusks um, to make it an African elephant or if you want to leave the tusks off um, and make it an Asian elephant. Those tusks that you see coming out of the elephant, they um, are a large tooth. And that tooth continues to grow bigger and bigger as the elephant gets older. So that is a little bit of the differences between the two types of elephants, the Asians and the Africans. And just to show you here in our world, those um, elephants are coming from two different continents. We live over here in North America, but the African elephants, they come from the continent of Africa. And the Asian elephants, they would come from um, the Asia continent. All right, very cool. Well, let's switch over here to my drawing board. And I'm going to flip this around for me. And we're going to do some drawing today. We're going to make our elephant. So as always, we're going to start off with a block letter. Um, if you've been keeping all these different drawings, you'll be able to make a nice animal book by the end of this. So uh, we want to remember this is the E animal, so we're going to make our big block letter. Oh, let me actually make my point a little bit bigger. There we go. Big line down. We're going to do a line on the top, a line on the bottom, and then we're going to make an equal sign in the middle. Now we need to make the top stick and the bottom stick, so we're going to make a line that comes down and then in, connect it down to our equal sign, connect the end of our equal sign, and then we need from uh, the bottom of this, we're going to come down again, out, and back down. You want to try to get those all in the same area. You don't want one stick drawing way far out and one to be real, real short. So try to make them all in the same area to line up. We want to make it into a block letter, so we're going to add those lines from either corner out. And I'm even going to do these bottom ones, too. These bottom ones, we made the line go diagonal out, just like we did on the other corners. But for these, we're going to draw a line to connect it back to the base of the E. The ones on the outside, we're going to connect up and connect over. So we have our capital letter E. To make our elephant, we're going to start with our elephant's head first. So I'm going to make a rainbow line, and I'm going to make a diagonal line out this side and a diagonal line out that side. Those are going to be the top of our big floppy elephant ears. Then I want to make a curve, same thing on the other side, a curve that's going to be the side of our elephant ears. And then I'm going to make the bottom of the elephant ear come up. And then I'm going to make a little curve, not the whole way, just a little part there because we need to leave room for our elephant's trunk. So to make our elephant's trunk, um, I'm going to start by making, it's almost going to look like a letter J. Um, when I was little, my grandma used to collect um, 
figurines of elephants. And I like to play with the different uh, figurines of elephants that she had. She always collected elephants that had um, a nose that hooked up. She said that those were the one, those are the elephants for good luck. So I always remember that. So I'm going to make this an elephant with a, uh, a trunk that hooks up. So I'm going to come down and hook up. And I need to do the same thing on the other side because there is a thickness to the trunk. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go down and hook up. Almost looks like a big letter J and then a little letter J. And then we need to connect the end of it. An elephant can use its trunk to pick up things. And so I'm going to connect the end of it with like an oval. I'm going to put a little dot inside. That's going to be the end of the trunk. Now, if you want this to be an African elephant, we learned that the African elephants have those long um, tusks. So if you want to make the long tusk, that's why I left this spot here. So I'm going to make um, a little rainbow line here. And then I'm going to make a long curve out and curve it back in. You can make your tusks as long as you would like. Remember, those tusks, they keep growing as the animal gets older. So if it has very, very long tusks, you probably have a very old elephant. If it has shorter tusks, it's a much younger elephant. I'm going to connect my uh, ear back in there. I need to make my elephant tusk on this side too. And I'm going to try to make them about the same side. So I'm going to come out. It's like a backward letter J. And I'm going to curve right back in. So we have two elephant tusks. And so we know this must be an African elephant with those tusks. Because we learned the Asian did not have tusks. For my elephant, I'm going to make my elephant happy. So on this side, I'm going to make a line that comes up make a little happy face. On this side, I'm actually going to make it go up a little bit longer to about the, the middle or the top there. And I'm going to use that to be the spot where I'm going to put an eye. So I'm going to make a circle eye on that side of the trunk and a circle eye on this side of the trunk. Make my elephant looking at us. Now we have a nice looking elephant head. Let's go ahead and add our elephant body. Um, I'm going to start, I guess I can start here. Maybe we can start out of, his, out of the top of his head. We'll make a great big back. How about that? Let's start on the top of his head and make a great big rainbow line for a big elephant back. And then we're going to make some elephant feet down here. So. I'm going to make my elephant foot. I'm going to have it come out towards the bottom. You can kind of eyeball it where you would like your elephant feet, uh, but I'm going to make mine, we want it right under that head. So I'm going to draw a line that comes down and we're going to curve it at the bottom. And then we're going to make a line that comes up. It's going to be one elephant foot. And then I'm actually going to put a little curve line there. That would be like a little bit of his belly showing. And I'm going to make a line that comes down, smile line, back up. We got leg number two. And then um, let's make him have some feet back here. So I'm going to go on the end of my rainbow line. I'm going to come the whole way down. And I kind of want to make sure that it lines up with my other feet. So I don't have one long foot and one short foot. So this looks to be about the same spot. I drew the whole way down, rainbow line, and come up. And this belly line that we started in the front, let's continue his belly over. And then we need one more elephant foot squeezed in back here. So I think if I come down, smile line, and go back up, we've got our one, two, three, four elephant feet. They're great, big, strong feet. And we can go ahead and add on, I'm going to add on like upside down U's to give him some great big elephant toenails. That's a nice detail to add. Oh, we need to make sure that we add our um, elephant tail on here. We come down with a curved line and down with a curved line close together. And then I'm going to put an upside down U and connect it. And you can put little lines in there to make it look like the hair on the end of his tail. 
All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to make sure I put in my ground line so I don't just have a floating elephant. I'm going to pretend it goes through there. I guess it would come out on this side about here. And this, of course, is the fun part for you. You get to decide how would you like to um, color in your elephant. I'm going to make a nice gray elephant, get him filled in there. Um, Another thing that might be fun to do um, that's a good detail that you can add to your elephant is, whoops, you can add some wrinkle lines. And let me show you what I mean. Elephant skin is very, very wrinkly. So if we go, I'm going to go right here above all of his different uh, legs. And I'm just going to add a couple more little lines. See how it makes it look like he has wrinkly skin just by adding those few extra lines. Um, another good place to add wrinkle lines on your elephant would be on his trunk. But you can decide where else you would like to put wrinkle lines. And I'll put a couple wrinkle lines there. And I'll put a little wrinkle lines on his ear. As you're showing that he has wrinkly skin. So that's a good detail that you can add. You may color your elephant however you would like. I'm going to try to color him um, like one of the pictures we saw at the beginning where he was walking on the open plains, and then there were great big uh, mountains behind. So let me see if I could draw some great big mountains back here. I'm going to go behind my letter E and make a big mountain. Big mountain. I'm drawing it behind because your elephant is in front, so we can't see the entire mountain. Fill those mountains in, and maybe I'll add some trees. Let's get some trees. They're they're little. They're small because they're far away in the distance. Far away in the distance. You, of course, you may make yours however you would like. I'm always excited to see what you end up choosing to do for your. Um, different designs. Um, I'm going to make some lines for my trees there. And then maybe to make it look like some grasses, I'm going to draw some grass lines. So it looks like the grasses. Oh, I almost forgot. We got we to gotta color in our letter E for the day. And Let's do some blue. Sometimes it's hard for me to get in that little area. Get in there. All right. I think we have a pretty nice looking um, elephant there now. Very cool. All right. Bring you over here. I had a really fun time drawing with you guys today. I can't wait to be able to see the uh, drawings that you were able to do. I am looking forward to seeing extra details. Anything else that you can add to make your picture stand out? Even though we all drew together, um, it's always fun to make yours stand out in its own unique way. Whether you do that with the colors, or you do that with extra background details, maybe this is a, a mommy elephant and you make a baby elephant, um, there's all sorts of extra ideas that you can come up with. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to looking um, at your drawings that you send me. Also, don't forget, tomorrow is F day, so we're going to need a fun animal for the letter F. A lot of you told me the elephant, so that's why I picked the elephant for you today. Uh, plus, my grandma liked elephants, so I really wanted to draw an elephant, too. I hope you have a great afternoon, and we will see you again tomorrow, those that come to draw. Have a great day.